Good morning. Welcome to Get Fit Friday. I am Beth Jeffers, joined with Whitney Brown, and we are at the Fitness Factor. And what we are going to talk about today is active isolated stretching. And active isolated stretching is a form of stretching developed by Aaron Mattis, a kinesiologist out of Florida. It's been around for about 25 years now. But on this particular type of stretching, we do hold our, you can stretch with a rope, but you want to get an eight foot rope, which aids you in getting a little tension. And I want you to think about, you just want to have light tension. It's not a pull where you're going to overstretch yourself. So you start, most people are really tight in the hamstring. So I'm going to have Whitney demo a few stretches and then we'll move on. This is the hamstring stretch. You lay your um, head down, one knee is slightly bent. You want to think about locking out this opposite ankle, flexing that foot, and you only want to hold the stretch for one and a half to two seconds. You would do about eight reps of this. This is stretching your hamstring. When you wrap the rope around the outside of your ankle, and this is called a figure four stretch. This is going to be a great hip stretch. Most people tight again, locking that leg coming down across the body, coming back to the center, and coming down. How do you feel on that? Feel that? It's tough, yeah. Across the body. And notice that she's just holding for about one and a half to two seconds as she goes. Good. Okay, you can also stay here, turn your foot out, keeping that rope on the outside, leg locked, and come straight down and up. Good, stretching still. Again, more of the hamstring area, but a different part of the hamstring. You felt a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now take a moment here and wrap around the opposite side. Turn your foot in. And again, another stretch for more of the inside of the hamstring. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Good. Woo. Great job. You know, we do these stretches also. Thank you. We do these stretches also in our group exercise classes. And what we'll do, our instructor will lead. Um, people through these and it takes about 15 minutes. Um, Dr. Mattis suggests that you do stretch, you know, every day and if you do these, you know, work out those the hips, stretch the hamstrings, um, stretch your upper body mm -hmm. and it's just that hold of one and a half to two seconds mm -hmm. and you can really start feeling different. It does feel good even in the little bit that I did. I'm mm -hmm. not the most flexible person in the world. I know that's hard to believe um, but it is fun too because it kind of keeps you going and keeps you moving and you're having to think about doing something instead of just lying there and waiting. So. I know and I think that's the beauty of it and that's one thing that attracted me to it. I'm not flexible either because you, we're used to exercising so we're kind of as we move we are just our minds not on it as much so to speak but it really works and it's something to look up on the internet if you're mm -hmm. interested it's called active isolated stretching and it's been very well received here at the fitness factor absolutely that's it for this week thanks for tuning in we'll see you next week for more get fit fridays go to wcbi.com